the NC140 is um, it's a way to test different root stocks and it's spread out over lots of different uh, universities or testing facilities across the country. So they release these root stocks from these different places. These are mainly from uh, Geneva, uh, from Cornell, and also from Vineland up in Ontario. And so we test these uh, root stocks at all these different research facilities across the country, and we kind of see what floats to the top. And so in terms of you know, for testing varieties, what do they want to commercialize? And they're the ones that usually yield well, they usually they have some type of disease resistance or drought resistance, and then of course the big one is controlling size. And so um, we look at um, the NC140 and we look at these different root stocks, and Northwest Michigan's always been an outlier for these different trials, and I think it's because we've had these sandy soils and we have never put down the amount of water that we needed to. And so when we started, uh, we decided to put in this trial right here, we were extrapolating a lot of the data from your region. So Phil Schwalier and, you know, the folks at MSU, Ron Perry, a lot of those guys that had done the work on high density apples at Clarksville or on the ridge, um, those data were really hard to translate into our sandy soils. And so, like I said, there was this misnomer that we couldn't grow high density apples up here because of our soil type. And so I think this trial is set out to hopefully help growers manage fertilizer and water. And so we've got a double line of ram here and that we have basically, you know, a, one amount of water and then the other one emits fertilizer. And so it's a 1x, 2x kind of trial. And so what we're trying to figure out is how much nitrogen we need or how much fertilizer we need and how much water we need. So there's an economic component to this that we're not over watering, we're not over fertilizing, and we're running our system to the maximum. So right now this is just a two lines of ram that emits, um, I think it's a, about a quarter of an inch of water and then almost a half an inch of water versus two ounces of uh, fertilizer compared to four ounces and then we have just water alone so if guys don't have the capacity to fertigate at this point how much just water alone will help you on a high density so i think we do need to look at micro sprinklers again but i think the best cost for our, you know money is lines of ram were easiest to run got you the distribution you needed i think there's other benefits to micro sprinklers so there could be some benefits uh, for nematodes, for, you know, insect control, to keeping that soil wet. So I think there's a lot of things that we could be doing with micro sprinklers.